I want to go over today is two uh, innovations in, uh, in our uh, corner of the world, which is the new sixth place piston turbine kit plane and also a innovation for float planes, which essentially will eliminate the penalty of the floats and negate the exchange weight to allow you to increase your useful load. So the philosophy for this airplane that was designed by Ron and James Hausman is really versatility and utility. So we want a plane that can match a number of missions in terms of payload, range, and it can also be matched with an amphibious or float conversion. But this plane has a tremendous useful load, which really does allow it to form a number of missions. So one of the things that was modified from the presentation of the plane at Sun and Fun, which was the introduction of the plane to the aviation community, is the cowling was modified. Changes that would increase the airflow and cooling. This prototype has a TIO 540, so it's a 350 horsepower engine. It needs a lot of airflow to keep it cool. This prototype we have currently in the four seat configuration, but it will easily accommodate six seats. Here are the specs for the piston version. Useful load is one of the big advantages for this aircraft. 2,000 pound useful load, and if you have a 100 gallon fuel capacity, so you're going to end up having about 1,300 pounds of full fuel payload, which for an air aircraft this size, I think, offers a lot. The cruise speed at 8,000 feet is 170 knots. If you go up higher, obviously it'll be, it'll be more. At economy cruise, you're going to get a range of about 840 nautical miles. The cabin width is really one of the big advantages of this aircraft because it's almost 10 inches wider than a Cessna 206 or a Bonanza. There is a turbine option, which we have a static display. We have a, our turbine prototype is being constructed now. We currently have a Walter engine in the turbine prototype, but it can accommodate a Pratt & Whitney or a uh, Honeywell. The turbine will have 200 gallons of fuel, so that's going to be about uh, 1,300 pounds of, of fuel weight. So you're going to have over 2,000 pounds of full fuel payload for the turbine option. The turbine option will also have an option for pressurization as well. So this is one of the things that we incorporated in the design of this plane, which is a utility door. And the utility door also has an air stair. If you want to eliminate the air stair, you can. But also, it has the ability to accommodate 55-gallon drums or other cargo through the utility door. Our introductory kit price of $250,000, we don't know exactly what the, the build time is because we've just completed our prototype this year. But we estimate it's going to be about 3,000 hours of build time. So the, the final thing I wanted to go over is a, a very exciting innovation, which I think is going to really change the economics of float flying for at least commercial operations. And what this is is we call it the comp wing. And it's simply an airfoil placed between the floats. And we received a patent approval for this. We had this plane on display last year at Oshkosh and also at Sun and Fun. The commercial pilots that came by looked at that and said, what can that do for me? And for the commercial pilots, being able to take two more paying customers on a one-hour tour is a huge financial incentive for them. So we see this as a great opportunity to help with the economics of those operators. And because of that, we're going to target development of an STC for this for uh, the Cessna 206 and the Caravan. And that's really in response to those pilots that came by and talked to us. So that's our goal for this year is to start an STC. Uh, before that, we're going to design an LSA float. It will be an integral float with the comp wing on it. The airfoil will allow adequate lift to eliminate the exchange weight of the float, so at least maybe 90% of the exchange weight. It also, by virtue of the aerodynamics, it will have a dramatic improve, improvement in lift, especially during the takeoff run, because of the ground effect. And the fact that the airfoil itself is capped at the end by the, the floats will prevent any leakage of lift around the, the ends of the airfoil. So, so uh, the takeoff run will be improved. So I think there's a, there's a safety benefit to this uh, as well. So that's coming uh, this coming year.
Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details.